Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about the parameters which we have in the invoke web service action. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with get method by using invoke web service. Before that, let me start with the small use case over here. I want to retrieve all the employees data by using invoke web service. That is my first use case. How can I go ahead and do that? In my web API, I'm having the document in a such a way you can see over here to retrieve the data from the employees table. We are having web API with a different get method that is HTTP get methods. You can see over here, I'm having get with the API of employees. This one we are going to use to retrieve all the employee list by using web API. This is my first use case. Now I'm going to give the URL over here, HTTPS colon slash localhost. This is my server name. And after that, I'm going to give the URL API and the controller is employees. This is my URL, which I'm going to use to retrieve the employee details over here. What is the method I'm going to use it to retrieve the data from the CRUD operation like create, retrieve, update, delete operations. I'm going to retrieve it. What is the method that we will use? We'll use get. All right. And you can see over here the acceptance. I'm going to give it as XML. I will show you with the JSON also. Now I'm going to give the content type over here as default. That is application slash XML. This is the get method so that I don't want to pass any request body over here. And in my URL, I don't have any custom headers for the time being. And I'm going to save the response into the text format. And if you go for the advanced parameters, I don't want to encode my request body so that I'm going to disable this option. And then I'm going to click on save over here. Now, if you see over here, the flow variables, I got three flow variables. One is status code based on the web service or the web API. What is the status code it is going to throw whenever you're going to request for the particular URL or particular web API. The second one is the web service response. The output will get it after invoking the particular web API using invoke web service action. And also you will get web service response headers the headers which we have receiving as part of the web API. All right. Now what I'm going to do, the first use case is to retrieve all the employee details which we have in the particular employee table. All right. Before that, let me open my SQL Server Management Studio. Use the select query to retrieve all the employee details which we have in the employee table. Let me execute that once again. Now, if you see, I'm having 11 records over here, all the 11 records we are going to retrieve by using get method. All right, we'll see that by running this flow. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution has been started. And it is trying to hit the web API by using HTTPS colon localhost 44312. And you can see over here the status code. I got it as 200. In a such a way, the request has been sent successfully to the web API and response has been given successfully. All right. Now we'll see the web, res web service response over here. Now let me copy this entire text value. And the details I have pasted in notepad. You can see over here all the output. We got it in XML format. Now you can see I'm having 11 records over here. What are the output that have shown through SQL Server? All the details are here. You can see over here one, two, three, four and employee details up to 13. In between, we don't have some of the IDs over there because of we have deleted in one of our previous session. All right. This is the output that what we got it whenever I have requested by using the web API that is HTTP colon server name slash API slash get employees. All right. Now we'll see the web service response headers. When you click on this, 
we will get the same kind of uh, you know response headers we will get it you can see pragma no cache and xml files and you can see some of the content length cache control some of the web service response headers you can see over there all right this is our first use case all right now you can see the output over here that we got it in xml format now i want the output in json format so how can i go ahead and do that over here i'm going to modify a small thing over here the content type i'm going to give it as json and in the same way the acceptance also i will give it whenever the request body is going to give the json also all right so that i don't want to get confused whenever i'm going to use the request body in the json format the acceptance that is accept parameter should be json and the content type also will get it as an output by using json all right and i'm going to use the same get method to retrieve the data from the employee table all right let's save the flow once again and then let's click on run to see the output flow execution has started and now you can see the web api has retrieved the data successfully by using web api now you can see the status code is 200 now we want the web service response let's click on that now i'm going to copy the entire data which is there inside the response and you can see the output over here this is the output which i have copied and pasted over here this is the entire data which is there in the json format previously whenever the content i have given it, it as xml format right now i have given the content as json format so that i got the output in json format all right this is my first use case over here now we'll talk about the second use case i want to retrieve the data from the employees based on my id i will pass the id parameter from the query string and then i want to retrieve the data of the particular id only right if you see in my output previously we had the get method we have retrieved all the employees list but i want to get only the particular employee details in that case i will pass the employee id and then i will retrieve the employee details how can i go ahead and do that if you see over here i'm having the method you can see get method api slash employees slash id this is the second method that i'm going to use it or the url i will use it by passing the id value over there all right let me copy the url and then let me go back to workflow and then i'm going to use invoke web service over here and then if you see over here the url the same except the id which i need to pass from here this is the query string or from uri i'm going to pass the values let assume i will pass the value as six i want to retrieve the employee id six values i want to retrieve it and then i will store the values or the output in the web service response all right let's click on save now i want to store the response in the text format so that i will use one more action over here that is i will write the text to file action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace and then i'm going to give the file path over here on my desktop i'm having the employee text file so that i will use the same thing i have given the path as c users desktop employee.txt what is the text to write the response which we got it from the invoke web service action i'm going to select the same web service response and then you can see over here if files like this i'm going to overwrite the data and then i'm going to click on save for the particular employee id let's run the flow and we can see the output flow execution has been started and you can see the response over here i got it the employee id as six and if you copy the entire thing over here you can see i am having only employee id related information only i don't have any other employee id information over here all right let's click on close and then we will see the output in the text file that is employee.txt file let's open the text file 
and you can see over here the output has given in the json format so that you can see the details over here employee id equal six first name is priyanka last name is divangan and the gender is female and salary is thirty thousand. all right this is based on i'm going to filter the data based on my request from the web api right this is my second use case now I want to retrieve the data based on the ID as well as the name. Okay, now if you see, I'm having a query string over here. In a way, I will pass the name over here so that I will retrieve the data with whatever the data I'm going to pass it, I will retrieve that. Okay, even I can pass the ID or the name I can pass it. So that we'll use another uh, API that is directly I will pass the name without passing the ID so that I will use the name as a parameter and then I will retrieve the data from there. All right, I'm going to copy the same URL and then I'm going to make the changes over here in the invoke web services and I'm going to change over here in my URL. I'm going to give it HTTP localhost API employees and after that I'm going to give it over here as name equal to at the, uh, over here, I need to pass the parameter name parameter over here. Before that, let me show you in the database. I'm having the value Amir1 over here two times. You can see over here, employee ID 1 and employee ID 11. I'm having two first names with the same name, Amir1, Amir1. I'm going to use the same thing over here. And then I'm going to pass it as Amir1 over here. And then let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution has been started. And if you see, I got the output from the web API. You can see web service response. Let's open that. And you can see over here, employee ID one and the first name is Amir. And in the same way, employee ID 11, I'm having first name as Amir. All right, these are the two employees. It has been retrieved over here. And if you open the text which we have written by using write text file, you can see the same output over here. One is employee ID 1, another one employee ID 11. All right. Now, I'm going to give you a small assignment over here where you can work with these two get methods which we are having. We need to pass the values of the employee ID as well as the name. In that case, we need to retrieve the data by using get method. At the same time, I'm having one more assignment for you. That is by using API, API slash employees by passing first name and last name, I need to retrieve the data by using HTTP method, get method. I hope you understand how to work with invoke web service action by using get HTTP method as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.